All right, so now let's uh, take up on off, put hat on. Um, let's go back and let's uh, look at how to approach the next uh, test case as part of MP1. This is the test case that's probably the most similar so far to homework problems that you've seen. Um, and But before we do this, I want to point out one thing, which is that as you go, take a moment to commit and push and make sure things are looking the way that you think they are. So for example, I just uh, commit and, and, and push my code and I can see that I've got a 20. I've got some check style that shields off to fix next time. But this is a good thing to do as you're going. Now, don't wait till the end. You'll get faster feedback if you commit along the way. Okay, so uh, the other thing I want to show you here is if I go and I've got to get to the right lesson. Uh, we're doing Java here and I'm on this one. They look so similar. Okay, uh, so we turn off the missing bits. Um, so here's a description of what you need to do for the search method. Um, and so you're supposed to write a static method search, uh, and that's right uh, here. And I've sort of started uh, putting in some comments here about what I need to do, and I'll go over that in a sec. It's supposed to take a list of restaurants and a search string. So I've got a list of restaurants and a search string. And if the search string exactly matches a cuisine value, I should return all the restaurants that have exactly that cuisine value. Otherwise, I return any restaurant where either the name or the cuisine contains the search string. And so there's a little bit of subtlety to this, right? Now, you are going to need to create a new array list, so I've given you that piece of code for free. Um, and, you know, in general, I would suggest that you approach this in a very similar way to how you've approached other homework problems in this class. I mean, we could have assigned this as a homework problem. Um, you know, the idea here is that every restaurant has a cuisine value. And the first thing I need to do is figure out all the cuisine values. Now, don't hard code this. Maybe you're tempted to, but there's quite a few cuisine values and it will make you sad. Um, so the better thing to do is to simply go through all the restaurants and build up a set of all the cuisine values. And here, the full array of Java's built-in collections are available for you to use. So build up a set, use a set, right? I can use a hash set to essentially store all of the cuisine values. That's one way to do it. And then when I go through the list, I can do one of two things. If the search string matches the cuisine value, I just look for restaurants where the cuisine is exactly the same as the search. And keep in mind, this is Java, so we have to use dot equals everywhere with strings. Or I use uh, string matching methods, right? Basically, I look for the search string in either the name or the cuisine, right? And if it matches, I add that to my list. Um, so this is not you know, something that should be a lot more code than a typical homework problem. If you find yourself writing a lot more code than a typical homework problem, please uh, ask us for help. Um, but you know, this is your next task. And as usual, I would focus in, I would zero in by using the test uh, cases that we provide, right? So I would run this, I'm gonna run this unit test all by itself. You should not modify the list of restaurants that you're passed. So you should build, as we're doing here, you should build a new list based on the search string, right? So I create a new empty list and I'm gonna populate it based on the search string and the restaurants and the cuisine values and such, but I should not modify the list that I'm given, right? So run the test suite that you're working on, um, you know, look at the output and then go back and, and, and try to, and you know, you can put print statements in here, you can do anything you want, right? To get a better sense of exactly what's happening and, and what you need to do. All right, good luck. This is, you know, the first sort of uh, medium-sized programming challenge as part of the MP. As always, if you get stuck, uh, you know where to find us on the help site or on the forum. Um, this is a case where, you know, we don't want you uh, exchanging code for how to do this, but you're certainly uh, welcome to ask for help and we will provide it. Good luck.